Hello, my name is Lily, and I ain't no white man. I guess someone got tired of losing money. Lily Singh's show has been canceled. Wow, what a waste. The poor children. A little late with Lily Singh was a sign of the times. Woke comedy had taken over. You all might want to sit down. What I have to say right now might be a little cringe. Just give us a tea. And much like all things that begin with representation, it ends in cancellation. They rhyme for a reason. What will Hollywood learn? They're like a chick that keeps going back to a guy that keeps cheating on her. You're never gonna change him, so stop it, Mary! Honestly, the show was obviously a failed experiment. By the second half of its existence, when another YouTuber talked about her time in the show, we had all seen the writing on the wall, how frankly we saw it the first episode. Amanda Orange County. And before someone comes to me and says, Amanda, another fan could have taken that spot. They were struggling to get people in there that didn't fill the audience, so don't even come at me for that. But these four people, but we must definitely talk about Rico. To my knowledge, all four of them are at the very least permanent audience members for a little late with Lily Singh. Now, I can only confirm that Rico is a paid audience member because he told me. But also open about his job on Instagram. He posts clips from the show he's been in and talks about Lily being a great boss and why wouldn't he want to work with her and things like that. Lily doesn't seem to have a problem with people knowing that Rico works on the show as an audience member. Audience is good. Should I let Rico out there? I feel like Rico's my comfort now. It's like when I see him in the audience, I'm like, okay, Rico's here, it's fine. Okay. Can we get a cheer? Yeah. When you have to fly in a fan club, pay people to be audience members, then on Instagram talk about the people you pay to be audience members, but then when the show is on, you have the audience member come on stage and pretend like you don't know him, for God's sakes, you have to edit in people reacting to jokes before Lily Singh even comes out. So it's almost like the editing team does all the work. It's, Jesus Christ, you've seen these jokes. They are terrible. What did the rock say to the flower? Okay, bloomer. Ah, I'm gonna kill myself! Wow. I'm going to kill myself and it's your fault! Skinny jeans, favorite jeans, mom jeans. Sounds like a dope genuine song. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> cringe. There is no other word for it. This makes me cringe. It's embarrassing. Lily Singh is a horrible comedian. I would use her comedy to torment people. I'm not joking. Like if I was the Punisher before I killed a mafia boss, I'd tie him to a chair and make him watch every Lily Singh joke back to back till he prayed for me to kill him. As you can tell, I had to watch a couple of her jokes. <laughs> I'm already tired of the day. Like for real, dude, I had a PlayStation 5 in my Amazon cart. Amazon's like, we don't, like, we don't ship to your area. And I was watching Lily Singh stuff back to back. This really with me as a human. It's a form of torture. So basically, Too Long didn't rant. It Lily Singh's show was faker than Jeffree Star and James Charles' asses. Anyway, after this all came out, Lily had announced that she had a second season for this show. As if it was some triumph. She even had a song. It was a cringy rap video to boot. I'm still in quarantine and I don't have a crew. It was tough to shoot this video. It's just me and one dude. But I had to because, to be honest, I have news. You know they say the best things, they always come in two. So without further ado, I made this song for a reason. A little late with Lily is getting the second season. And you know, I've been keeping this secret for a while. But right now, it's time to celebrate quarantine style. Hey, you're not wearing pants? What do you mean? We're moving the camera. It doesn't zoom you. I don't think it's funny. But you go, girl. You do you. Yes, mama. Um, bisexual woman of color. She isn't a white man. This is what winning looks like. If this is winning, I don't even Dog. Now, what made this whole thing worse was all the people on social media also celebrating the fact she got a second season. Like, they genuinely cared. It's a lot like the people who are celebrating that Batwoman 
was getting another season, you know. Oh, you bigot! You don't like the Black Bat Woman? No, I don't. But at least I'm honest. You're not watching either. The ratings has ratted you out. I hate false positivity. Because it's just fake. Don't be fake. Don't sit there and go, yes, this is a win, and then let it die somewhere. It's almost like getting a pet and then being happy the pet is here and then not giving a f and the poor little thing starves in the corner listening to Lily sings, I'm blah, 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 and I ain't a white man. Just play the clips, dude. I don't even know the damn song. Now, the first season of Lily Sings show had some seriously bad comedy, like painful. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even trying to be mean to her. It's just the show fing sucked. Makes up for my bad personality. You know? Like when I cut someone in line at a club, first people are mad, but then I'm just like. <laughs> and then they're like, ah, her hair is so shiny, let her go. Looks of it, a lot of you are happy to be here too. It's, it's mostly the brown people because this was free to attend. This time, I came out to my friends as a vegetarian. I can't believe this is a show. It would have been perfectly fine on YouTube or anything that isn't TV. White people try to make things right and they come up to me and they apologize for everything they did to the Indians. I thought I'd be famous and my stock would be like a hot guy that just needed some guidance, okay? But instead, my phone is spying on me. <laughs> and as a woman, I'm especially stoked to join this group of people. <laughs> this is what bad looks like. How can you not roll in and kick all the other late night hosts in the balls? How? How? Jimmy Kimmel? He's totally a cuck, for a lack of a better word. Jimmy Fallon. Wow, awkward white man who laughs at his own jokes and wears sneakers with his suit. Whoa, kooky. Stephen Colbert, he hasn't been funny since Strangers with Candy, where he played a closeted gay man. Like a, like a snake coiled around your heart. All eyes in the back of the room. Before. Something I want you to see, eyes in the back. Uh, Jasper. Uh, why? John Oliver, the guy people mistake for Stephen Colbert in Whole Foods. He's best known for doing thumbnails on YouTube where he's always in a perpetual state of fear. And I'm kind of tired of it. Ooh, something else bad is going on. I Picora. He's not Irish. Well, I don't give a shit. You know what? I don't need to be told America sucks. It does. But guess what? It's kicking more ass than everything else is. You can either be here in America and deal with what little shittiness we got or you can be shoeless in Guatemala. Choose. Anyway, you see right there. I'm not even trying. And I'm funnier than Lily Singh ever was on her show. Oh, did someone say Trevor Noah? Do you know uh, any jokes or are you going to sit on Twitter and be a f***ing internet activist the rest of your goddamn life? Anyone else isn't worth remembering. Well, there's Conan O'Brien. He's been funny. God bless Jordan Shalansky for keeping him relevant. Work later on Fridays than a lot of people. And I feel like I'm able to adequately accomplish what I need to in the time that I'm here. I've uh, prepared my daily task ahead of me already. Your daily task? What's your daily task to pour olive oil onto a Kaiser roll? You see, all Lily had to do was come out and do something different. Instead, her show was literally doing the same thing as everyone else. But the big jump was she was a woman of color. And she wasn't a white man. That was your role model. <laughs> but now, thanks to me, your kids will grow up to be bisexual women of color talk show hosts. <laughs> the media has mentioned I'm a bisexual woman of color so much that I feel like I should just change my name. No, 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 you cannot joke about that. Yeah, that's not funny. And occasionally she did terrible jokes and when they didn't fly, she'd make little noises and sounds and Little snorts like DSP. Ha <laughs> ha. You know, and it's like, okay, I guess that's the symbol for joke. Christ almighty. You better have a good reason in here. One more bark out of you and we're watching Lily Sting season two. You won't do it. You won't do it. You little bastard.
That's it. We're watching Lily Singh season two. Let's see if this amazing woman of color has learned anything. Probably not because the show's canceled. And don't get too upset. Yeah, her show's canceled. But now she has another show on Netflix coming with the same guy who wrote like uh, Blackish and uh, Wake Up White America or something. You know, a whole bunch of like really lame black shows that are woke. That are supposed to appeal to someone like me. But I really don't give a shit because it's phony. You know, that's just me. You know? I grew up back when the boys in the hood were always hard. You come talking to trash, we'll pull your car. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm so demonetized, dude. Oh, I forgot to mention. Um, Lily Singh, after the failure of the first season, or success, however you want to call it, they then decided a little late with Lily Singh gets a new showrunner set for season two. You see, they realized the first season was bombing hard. So they decided to move to, they literally paid for a mansion that Lily Singh could hang out in. And the late night show literally just became a big YouTube video. Like, I don't know who you paid to come up with this idea, but he needs to lay off the cocaine. Donna, you need more coke. We packed Pepsi. A new set ditching the traditional desk and couch set up in the house of Los Angeles that will give Singh more room to move around and try new things. Yeah, like literally doing her YouTube videos. Wow, innovation. Uh, what did Lily have to say? During the first season of A Little Late with Lily, I was thrust into a whole new world that admittedly consisted of 90% learning and 10% being creative. Wow, that was only 10% creativity, that's dangerous. Cause when you think about it, it's only 10%, that means her best ideas were, you know, they had to come forward. And see, let's see, for the second round, I know the ropes and I'm planning on bringing more of my creativity to the table. It's time to get goofy. I'm imperfect and bringing my full authentic self to late night. God, if that isn't like one of the lamest phrases ever, my full authentic self. If you've never been on Twitter, you'll hear it all the time from, you know, goobers. Nothing personal, but people who usually say shit like that are the type of people that would also go, Oh, I have that they, them energy. I'm not binary today. You know, those type of people. You're so full and authentic of yourself. You don't even know who the f you are. When they are a pop culture icon. It's time for. Please welcome my guest, the PlayStation 5. Who oh, dresses I Lily Singh? Like, it's like a 30 year old woman dressing like she's a goddamn Zoomer. Why did you make this jump? At least she dressed better in the first season. This season, it's literally like, look, I shop at Supreme. Well, did they say they're gonna be late? Hey man, sorry I'm late. What can I say? I'm kind of hard to get a hold of. All good, you're here now. Congrats on being the first person to experience a lag from a PS5, am I right? So tell me, how were the holidays for you? Did you get any time to relax? Not at all, man, but I did get to see the dad. Your dad? I'm talking about Oh my God, this is fucking garbage, dude. Holy shit. I'm sorry, but where is this funny? On what bizarro world? Well, you know what Lily should have done? She should have hired me. And if she paid me enough, I would have worked there. I would have. I need the money. And if I was in the room and they were like, Okay, Lily, we're going to have you talk to the PlayStation 5. And then they have some ass <coughs> come in here and do this voice. I would genuinely go, Do you actually want people to watch your show? Or do you want to give people more ammunition to make fun of you on YouTube? I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud here. But this seems like it's got cringe all over it. And I don't even like that word, but it fits this. Holy Jesus. PS4, man. People think I'm pretty popular right now, but that guy's still the man, the myth, and the legend. Okay, well, on that note, how is he as a dad? He can be pretty loud. This has 18,000 views, bro. Okay, it hit. This channel has over 500,000 subscribers. So it's neck and neck with me, right? This channel isn't blacklisted, it's not removed from recommended. YouTube pushes Lily Singh. How the f*** do you do so poorly with no boundaries? How do you fail with people helping you? I can't wrap my mind around it. <laughs> Why did you think this was a funny idea? Ugh. Ugh. I don't know. I don't want to watch anymore. Lily's therapist roasts her. 
Making a show during COVID is very hard. The budget went to all different types of places. Most of the budget went to that generator. Keep doing a good job. I'll just yell. It's all good. Don't worry about being quiet. It's really, really stressful. We had to spend it on COVID safety, all that stuff. But I did manage to sneak a... Really, Lily Singh's... Her late night show just became her YouTube channel. Jesus Christ. And like, this doesn't work. This doesn't work. You see, the people who watch late night television don't care about your YouTube channel. You're going against a whole new audience. And you literally leaned back into something you were familiar with and comfortable with. Yes, that's human nature, I know someone out there saying, but for God's sakes, you're in a different arena. It's like going into an MMA fight and only knowing stuff about boxing. And then someone's kicking you and you ain't adapting to the kicks. Why is he kicking? Coach, he kicking. You're not in the ring, you asshole. This is MMA. He's choking me out small amount of it to the side to hire an onset therapist. I'm gonna go check her out right now. Did you say hi to the generator for me? Hi Lily, how are things going? Okay, this could be funny. This could be funny if Lily does something funny. Let's find out. If you do something funny, it could work. They're good, you know. Well, well, LA is great and all, but I just feel homesick. And I wonder like, do people in Toronto even miss me? Well, that's a perfectly natural feeling, okay, Lily? And I guarantee you, the people of Toronto are heartbroken to see their favorite resident move to LA. Really, you think so? Absolutely. I mean, Kawhi Leonard is irreplaceable. Hey, you see what I did there? I'm like, get out of here. Sick. Sick. She could have actually made that funny, and it's just like. If you don't know who the f why Leonard is, it flies right over your head. You know my favorite? Can you uh, make another the roasted louder? fire I'm therapist. I'm gonna therapist. I'm gonna be real. She's not that great. But if I don't talk to her, I have to like talk to my. I'm fast forwarding. Like, I don't even want to see the f setup. Come right in, Lily. What's troubling you lately? Okay, I have this fear that I'm just like my mother. Mm. That is nonsense. Thank you for saying that. Someone wanted to marry her. Huh? Hey. You'll die alone. <laughs> I'm single. It's fun. It's fun. Well, at least that time it was remotely attempting to be funny. But the delivery with Lily Singh suffers from a uh, female com comedy syndrome. Female comedy syndrome is when a joke doesn't land, they immediately A, start dancing or B, making a face and a noise like a small child. <sighs> that was better than the last one. I'm going to give her that. Um, this is the last one, Stu. I don't care. I don't give a shit. This sucks dick. Nothing personal to, against her, but it's just like, this is bad. Like, I'm getting depressed watching this. I'm going to call my therapist after this video is done. I'm calling my therapist, and I'm going to go, this is what I do now. Uh, Brie Larson sings your rude comments with Lily Singh. Get ready. Lily's going to tell you how amazing she is. YouTuber. Actress, superhero. That's actually how I describe myself. But then every once in a while, someone way more talented. I love how Lily Singh describes herself as a superhero. Than me comes along, like not you. My guest today. <laughs> the that uh, for women the need or ability to be funny is tremendously less than it is among men. The very talented Captain Marvel herself. Give it up for Brie Larson. Or at least this one got 55k <laughs> views. Oh, hello. 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 I'm so you know what's sad? Brie Larson and fucking <laughs> Lily Singh have been like, trying to collaborate with each other for a while, hyping that <laughs> shit up. Is it not the most lame <laughs> shit already? Is this not lame? This is something they should have kept private. That's how bad it was. I'm so happy to see you. I have to just dive right into this because you are now part of my world in a very special way. You have a YouTube channel. It's happening. Because it's all real shit. And it's not an act. It's all reality. Really? We're going to celebrate a celebrity starting a YouTube channel? Really? This is wow. You know, there's little kids with YouTube channels, right? And if anything, Brie didn't set it up herself. It was probably like a fucking assistant. Get the fuck out of here. Like, celebrities joining YouTube belittles YouTube, in my opinion. All right, all right, all right. Yes. Getting big on YouTube is a feat. It's hard work. 
And then you just watch a celebrity roll in and they get everything handed to them. They don't know the real struggle of busting your chops for God knows how many years alone just to get a little somewhere. Set. This is my set. You'd think I would know how to light myself better at this point. Fast forward. I don't know if you just have more enthusiasm for life than I do, but I feel. <laughs> oh my but God, I just feel like I really comedy. Kill hype me. myself up and then I do my intro. And then when I go back and look at footage, I'm like, yeah, it's just not. I don't know. Maybe it's just the actor in me. I'm like, I don't feel like it's coming through. Okay, it's funny that you say that because you know one of the most common notes I get. Yeah, because you're hyping yourself up for a <laughs> YouTube channel trying to pretend this is something fun and amazing. And maybe for you it is. It's a big fun thing because you're already rich. You're going to have another trash superhero movie with the, let's face it, honey, you act like a wooden board between her and Keanu Reeves. Two actors, in my opinion, that are like wooden planks. I could put Keanu Reeves on a board and put a suit on it and you'd get John Wick. You put the Captain Marvel suit on a plank, you got Captain Marvel. And I know people get mad. Hey, man, I like John Wick. Yeah, well, it's a fantasy film, just like Iron Man. Who cares? I usually say, I hope you're happy and safe in your body. See you next week. That's beautiful. But no one's going to care about that. Hope you're happy and safe in your body. See you next week. What type of gay shit is that? My God. Like, not once ever in my life have those words left my lips or any of the lips of my compatriots. Probably because we have real world problems. I remember being in uh, East LA during a shootout with Jam. Not once did Jam say, I hope you're happy and safe in your body. <laughs> I'm a raging hot mom and a great cook and a smoking hot pipe. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm a raging hot mom. Christ Almighty, girl. A minor E. Good God damn. Great cook and a. There we go. Bar court sugar. It's a minor. Wife. Okay, first of all, vocals, madam. Vocals. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this. I don't give a <laughs> shit. No. Done. Can't. I don't care. Nobody's gonna watch this. This is garbage. I'm not gonna do some some deep dive into a video like Drew Gooden and show why this doesn't work. Cause nobody No, I don't have the mental fortitude. I did the DSP video. I can't do it again with Lily Singh. Okay, first of all, vocals, madam. Yes, she's vocals. an incredible singer. Okay, I'm Brilliant. shook. That was incredible. I don't Thank have you. any of this. Here we go guitar, again, where is, Lily Singh needs yeah, to I make it about job. herself. Oh no, guitar. someone doesn't like your shit show. Like a poppy kind of, I can dance. How do you do pop? She can't do pop. Oh, she I, barely I, knows I, how to I have play. no musical talent whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hit me. Let's do it. There is no question that no, the that, um, for women the need or ability to be funny is tremendously less than it is among men. God, I hate Lily Singh's dancing. I hate it. I hate it. Because she's purposefully trying to be funny and it's not funny. It's like terrible. Lily Singh's dancing is akin to terrorism. Why the f*** are the people who stormed the White House up on the Fed's wanted list and Lily Singh is not up on charges for dancing? Someone explain that to me. This is, like, I'm being accosted right now. This is visually displeasing. I'm hurting inside. Someone make it stop. Someone call the f***ing cops. Oh, the energy and vibes. This is terrible. It's like listening to a cat die. Why am I watching this still? Lily Singh trying so hard to be funny. It's like painful. You ever been around a chick who's got kids, right? And the kid's fucking annoying. And the kid's like, look what I can do. Look what I can do. And then it starts dancing, right? And you got to be nice like, ho, ho, ho. You got some nice moves there, Jimmy. It's the same thing right here, but it's an adult female. So I'm fully free to say what I think. That this is terrible. This show... Bro, who lost money on this? Because, you know, they had to look at these episodes and they just thought like, well, we just pissed away the budget for this season on this. 
That was beautifully garbage. I'm done. No. Quack. This. I don't care. Her show being canceled makes perfect sense. This show should have never made it past the first season. Never. Never. Why? I know you're trying to like, oh, the people who don't like it, they hate women and they're racist and bigots. Because that's all they got are buzzwords and incels. But truth be told, this isn't funny. It's not interesting. It's terrible. You know where talent is? Talent is in unsuspecting places. But I guess they want to use people who have name brand. And I'm sorry, people who are popular and famous now aren't that creative anymore. Because they don't have to be. They're so used to just going and doing a layup and everybody acting like they won the goddamn Super Bowl. So they become creatively bankrupt. Bro, it's like rock bands, all right? When the rock bands are young and they're trying to get noticed, they're crazy, they're out there, they're edgy, the songs kick ass. Look at Aerosmith how it began and look at Aerosmith now. Do you need any more proof? Guns N' Roses, I love them. When was Guns N' Roses at its best? When they were volatile punk teens with no money, living in a crappy house writing songs on empty pizza boxes. That's where you get Welcome to the Jungle. Now you got like four, five, six out of shape old men on stage playing tunes that used to be edgy. Because they got no new tunes, the new album, I didn't like it. Christ. You gotta look for someone that's young and hungry. Or just hungry. Not this. Lily Singh doesn't have that fire anymore. She's used to everybody telling her she's amazing. And the second they go, she sucks. She starts making videos about how people who say she sucks are like incels or virgins who live in their mother's basements because her insults are about as creative as her jokes. They're garbage. I'm done. I'd rather watch the Eternals trailer again. And it feels like I'm just roasting her, but I'm just saying that was bad.